welcome back to my channel so today i'm just going to give you my thoughts and feelings about using the honor magic v uh, for the past week the main display has a resolution of uh, 1984 by 2272 and uh, the screen resolution so the screen um, um refresh rate uh, maxes out at 90 hertz um, it also has hdr 10 plus um, and the cover display um, is 6.45 inches and um, it also has HDR 10 plus but this time it has a um, refresh rate of 120 Hertz um, with a maximum resolution of 1080 uh, by 2560 so uh, when I was I watched quite a lot of uh, videos on the, on the display and it was very crisp um, very very crisp the speakers on the phone um, are really loud as well um, I'm actually surprised how loud the stereo speakers get um, I did try a few games, um, which playing in uh, playing on a on a bigger screen, um, it did take a little getting used to, um, but yeah, it was once you got used to like the the size of the the the, the screen, um, it was a really pleasant experience. The chip that is running that the phone's running, it's running the latest Snapdragon eight uh, Gen one processor. Um, which made the phone feel really snappy. So it felt smooth, uh, snappy. Um, apps were very dis responsive. Um, the phone has 12 gigabytes of RAM and it's running the latest um, Android uh, 12. The camera system on this phone is absolutely amazing. So it's got a triple uh, camera system set up. Um, all, all, the, all of the three cameras on the, on the rear of the phone are 50 megapixels. So it's got a wide angle camera with a f f one point nine aperture. It's got um, something what on a call is a spectra, a spectra enhanced camera, which is like a focal length uh, camera, which is f two point zero aperture, and it's got an ultra wide um, can, uh, camera as well, uh, with a with a also focal length, um, little shorter this time. It's thirteen mega uh, thirteen millimeters. And uh, the Spectra is a um, 20, mega, uh, 20 millimeter focal length camera, um, but the ultra wide um, has an f f 2.2 uh, aperture camera, um, and it also has a dual uh, LED flash. Um, the selfie camera um, on the on the cover screen has a 42 megapixel camera, um, and it's a hole punch style. Uh, display um, and there's another hole punch uh, 42 megapixel camera on the main display so when the phone's folded out um, that that little camera hole punch camera is also 42 megapixel uh, which gives uh, good quality um, um, selfie camera uh, pictures or if you want to do any video calls as well um, the quality is really good um, so the triple uh, camera setup uh, allows uh, video recording up to 4K, uh, 60 frames per second, and the self uh, the selfie uh, cameras allow for also 4K but 30 frames per second. Um, so as I mentioned in in some of my previous videos, is I when I use when I use my phone, I don't really take that many pictures, but I did find myself taking um, quite a few pictures, uh, testing out the camera. And actually um, looking at um, the recording uh, the quality of the recording which is really really good um, I knew um, the cameras were gonna be good on a, on a phone um, but I didn't think they were gonna be that good and plus um, I tested out the, the night mode um, the night mode cameras uh, look really good but I want to I would like to test them out a bit more and um, I hope to have a, a pixel soon so I can compare it to to the uh, the pixel uh, night mode cameras because I know that the pixel cameras um, for night mode is really really good the battery life on this phone is really good as well um, it's got a 4750 milliamp um, battery um, which the way I use my phone is it's easily give me uh, usage all day battery easily um, I find it myself um, not having to charge the phone at all, uh, not until the following day. Um, and 
I wouldn't say I'm a heavy user, but I do use my phone quite a bit, mainly for for browsing and games. Um, in the box, it did give you on a do give you a 66 watt um, fast charging uh, camp um, pa uh, power brick, um, and they give you an in car charger, which surprised me. Um, and on a state that it takes 15 minutes to charge the phone uh, to 50 percent. Um, and I've done a little bit of testing and it is correct. It does take 15 minutes to get to, um, to charge the phone up to, um, to 50%, which, which is fantastic, especially if you ain't got that much time and you need to charge your phone. Um, which again, the fact they give you a power brick in the box, um, is, is fantastic. Using this phone for the week, one thing, um, I realized pretty quickly is that if you're going to import this phone, you need to you need to imp try and import the, the the version that has the Play Store included. So if you look on AliExpress, some very few of the models have the Play Store included, and I would definitely recommend um, going for that model um, because not having a Play Store on the, on on the phone um, it does make it just an ordinary phone like obviously you can browse the internet and go on you can log into into like um for twitter facebook and etc but not having a place or to download the apps it does it does feel like a lot of features are wasted so i would definitely recommend if you're going to import it get the version with play with the play store included the downside to that is that um on AliExpress, you do pay pay a premium for for that model. So, for example, the prices uh, fluctuate. So, it can be the prices. I've when I checked on Amazon uh, on AliExpress, we're going from anything from one thousand three hundred to one thousand five hundred. That was uh, oh sorry, one thousand six hundred without um, um, the Play Store. But as soon as you search for models that include the Play Store. The prices start going up to 1,700, 1,800, and in my opinion, it it becomes the value prospect actually goes, and you're better off just waiting to see what um, Honor um, say in their press press release that they're going to give on the 28th of February. So um, I would definitely wait for that rather than importing the phone. Through AliExpress and paying them extra charges. It has been great using the phone. Um, I would definitely, if you if you are going to go for the option without um, uh, the Play Store, I would definitely recommend side loading um, the Play Store onto the phone. And there are lots of tutorials on YouTube, and there's lots of sites that show you how to do it. It's not that hard. It's pretty straightforward. But to have this phone and not have the Play Store is um it it feels like it's missing some features um but other than that the camera is fantastic um the phone using the phone is, is it's got abundant of features um and it does feel nippy and smooth um so i, I you know i would recommend getting the phone but again it you definitely need the play store so if you're adamant that you want to get a phone i would say if you're going to import it import it with a version with a play store so that's the video guys um and that's my impressions on on the phone so far um thank you a big thank you to everyone that subscribed all my new subscribers um i'm gonna keep the videos coming uh thank you for your support um Feel free to keep leaving the comments in um, in the comment section. Um, I do get, I do uh, try to respond to everyone. Um, I do get round to responding to everyone. So again, big thank you to everyone that's subscribed, that everyone that's leaving the comments, um, and your, and and thank you for your likes. Um, and I'll hope to see you very shortly in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care, guys.